Today we will make the comparison between the Tesla Model 3 Long Range versus the classic Alfa Romeo 164 with a V6 engine. This is a little bit odd to compare two cars that have 25 years difference. And one is electric and the other one runs on petrol. But the Alfa Romeo 164, especially the version with a V6 engine, was a car that had similarity to the Tesla Model 3. It is a sporty five-seater sedan that was built for the customers that would like to have the little bit extra of power like Model 3 is offering today. And it will also be a lesson on the evolution of cars during more than two decades. This Alfa Romeo that will be used in the comparison is from 1994. First, let's begin to compare acceleration. Here in Europe, acceleration is measured from 0 to 100 km per hour. That equals with approximately 0 to 60 miles per hour. So the Alfa Romeo front wheel drive. <laughs> an acceleration with its 180 horsepowers of 8 seconds. The Tesla Model 3 all-wheel drive with its 351 horsepowers has an official acceleration time of 4.7 seconds. So in this first round Tesla beats the Alpha but here we have compared two different drivetrains, a combustion engine against electric motor. So is this compare fair? I don't know. But how efficient are the cars? Here the different drivetrains gives the Tesla a huge advantage since it has an electric motor. An easy way to compare the energy so people that is driving combustion engine cars understands is to convert the electric energy used in a Tesla to a similar amount of petrol. And then we can see that the Tesla is using an equivalent amount of energy like in 1.7 liters of petrol for driving 100 kilometers. The Alpha has a consumption of 9.4 liters for driving 100 kilometers. So the efficiency race goes to the Tesla. And we can also add another point for the Tesla in the category of local emissions since there is no tailpipe in the Tesla car. Well, this car was at a time considered quite a luxury car. It had all the things that we expect today uh, in a modern car. Uh, it had the windows was going up and down automatically, electronically. Uh, mirrors was moved electronically. Uh, regarding the safety, it was kind of uh, uh, the airbag in the driver's seat was here, but not in the passenger seat. Uh, I would uh, imagine that uh, the safety of this car was not the top of the line at this time. But as maybe you already know, the Tesla Model 3 is considered by different testing organizations worldwide as the safest car there is. With all its security features, both to prevent the car to come into an accident from the beginning, and if there is an accident, the construction of the car results in one of the lowest probability of injury or death by cars there is on the market today. So, of course, the safety point has to go to the Tesla.
But the Alpha must have the highest top speed, right? With its 230 km per hour. No, even in this category the Tesla beats the Alpha, but only with 5 km per hour. The long range version have a top speed of 235 km per hour. No, this is not fair when all the points are going to the Tesla. Find something where the Alpha is better! Okay, but what could that be? So the Alpha had uh, something here, so it could be very convenient to sit like this. But also, there was a hole here for skis. So you could uh, pack your skis very easy if you would like to drive quickly up to the ski pists and uh, this one has been used many times and in the Tesla there is also this uh, armrest here for the convenience of the passengers in the back seat and also two cup holders but no hole for the skis if uh, it needed to be transported uh, if you would like to bring the skis here, you have to fold this seat like this and uh, then hardly you can fit two people here in the back seat. It will be very uh, inconvenient for the person to sit here in the middle when going, especially on a long ride. So in the category easiest car to bring your skis with you, to the slopes in the mountains, the Alfa finally gets a point. The Alfa Romeo has a fuel tank of 70 liters with a consumption of 0.094 liter to the kilometers. That gives a range on a full tank to 760 kilometers, approximately 472 miles. The Tesla, on the other hand, has a battery of 75 kilowatt hour with an average approximately consumption of 1.7 watt hour per kilometers, which makes a range of approximately 560 kilometers accordingly to the WLTP driving cycle. So the range point goes to the Alfa Romeo. Regarding possibility to connect your mobile phone, it doesn't exist in this car. Uh, I mean 1994 mobile phones hardly have made it through to the public. I think I got my first mobile phone in 1994 and that was definitely not a smart phone and the car industry hadn't developed or adapt to this new trend at this time. So, how did the entertainment system work in this Alfa Romeo from 1994? Well, uh, the radio was hidden behind this cover. See, the Alfa was first with covers that hide valuable things in your car. One point to the Alfa! Uh, I mean, uh, already at this time there was burglars and uh, the stereo in a car was one of the most valuable things. Therefore, uh, this one was uh, equipped with a system so you could take this thing with you as a security and bring it with you and leave the radio like this and uh, it, uh, that would uh, prevent the burglars for, from coming into your car and steal the radio. Um, but then you came back and placed back and then you could turn on the radio like this and you had the FM radio uh, and you could listen to different stations uh, and if you were not satisfied with the radio with the, that was offered you could always use the cassette and uh, for young people uh, that uh, has not been 
around so for so long time. This was the thing when I was small uh, that we were using to record and uh, listen to music. Um, there was these um, cassettes and uh, cars was fitted with this cassette uh, system so you could place it in like this and then you could play it and it was playing the music and if you would like to listen to a special song you had to uh, forward the cassette tape to this position where the song was so it was quite uh, inconvenient but this was what was available at that time so what about the entertainment system in the Tesla? Well, it looks much different, of course. It's in the screen, everything. And here you have the radio uh, in the Tesla. Uh, the dub is available. And uh, here you have a lot of stations, the digital radio stations that is available here in this area where I am. Uh, if I go to an area where a dub is not uh, covered, the Legacy FM band is still uh, working in the car. So it's automatically approximately changed over to the FM band. Uh, and if you would like to... Um, uh, connect your phone, you can do it here and play music from your phone. Uh, and also, like uh, so uh, many people in the United States miss, here in Europe we have the Spotify. So here you can choose whatever music you like to listen to. And um, well, so let's give it a try and see if I can play this cassette Barry White. Uh, of course, there is no place to place the cassette here in the Tesla. So, therefore, the Alfa Romeo will get one more point, because it can play the audio cassette and the Tesla can't! But uh, is Barry White available in Spotify? Or do I need to keep the Alfa Romeo in order to play Barry White Greatest Hits? So, let's see and find out if we can find out uh, if Barry White is in Spotify. Yeah, here is Barry White. Let's try this one and let's see if there is a song here. What am I gonna to do with you? Is it available here? Yeah, it's here. The same song. So I don't need to keep driving Alfa Romeo in order to play my favorite Barry White. Okay, but the sound from the engine of the Alfa is much better than from the Tesla, right? You can actually hear the Alfa. So one more point to the Alfa. Five, five, yeah, they are the same. Well, <laughs> really not. But look on this fantastic evolution, what cars have gone through during those 25 years. What a difference, especially now, finally, when the core combustion engine has been replaced. And it is important that you and everyone else is doing the right choice and support the technical innovations that makes the smallest environmental impact on our world. Well, we came to the end of the episode, but before you leave, I would like to tell you a little bit about the production of this YouTube channel, My Electric Earth. I'm doing all this on my free time. And I have a full-time work, I have a house and a family to take care of, so the time to make these productions are limited. And I'm doing, so this is the reason why uh, my episodes are coming on very unregular basis uh, and uh, because I'm doing it when I'm getting an idea find time and and feel for it to make something also I would like to underline that all the material that you see in my YouTube channels is made by myself it's not that I'm going out to different uh, picture bureaus on the internet and buying pictures and so on. I'm recording everything myself with my camera or maybe I'm using the drone or something like that. And 
I'm so I'm very happy if you are participating in this movement of making transport more environment friendly. If you're planning to buy a Tesla Model 3 S or X, please use my referral link and you will get some free supercharging. Uh, you can also subscribe to my channel and uh, until next time, please have a great life.